that's still really nice. So let's move on to our pastels now. I'll come away a little bit so that uh, you can see this better. There you are. Uh, we've got the pastels there and called polychromos. Now what we're going to do really is is really follow our noses a little bit, a little bit, a bit of a light blue in here. What I look at when I'm doing something like this is I've already got, I've already got all the base colours that I want. So I'm just going to enhance them. A little bit of white in there as well. And what will have, will work here is if you've got a darker, like a dark grey there, that dark grey will go into the cloud. Maybe a little bit of blue maybe. Mm, dark blue would be nice. And <clears throat> some, some of the red would look now. This is really going to look quite spectacular now. As you can see, once you start putting the soft plastic in, and a little bit of that the other as well. Now, you don't want to see me do the whole lot, but I'll do it in little bits and pieces so that you see everything, but you see it. A bit of more white in there. You see it in stages. But you can see the difference that's making and I'll also bring you a bit closer you won't see me pick up the pastels but you need to see this closer too Okay, now I think I've got enough colour in there. you think so, wouldn't you? So what I'm going to do now is use the blender. Grey colour shaper again. To blend in. Soft pastel is exactly that. It's soft. Therefore, it's really, really good at filling holes up. And this is what we're doing at the moment, filling the holes but you'll still see some of the pastel that we've left and as you get this is the areas that you'll have a you can pass by but you can't prolong your visit so to speak once you've achieved what you wanted to achieve like that if you leave it alone you you can return 
when I shall return. But what I, the idea is I want to make it look like cloud. You see how much stronger this is looking? Right up there. And what you get is rather nice looking little little bits like that in there. Now that's going to be an interesting one to do. But before I do that I've got to clean my shaper off because it's going to be a little bit mocky. So we wait until we get a little bit further along the line. I'm working from the top because this is where the, all the dark cloud is. So that's looking good. I can still put more colour on and add more colouring, but this is going to be where it's very, very dark. A little bit of light in there, this looks nice. A little flash of orange. And again, I'm, I'm, I'm being careful not to touch anywhere that's going to have the influence of the grey or the blue and the the mucky bit I've got on that, that would look all right there that's all right so far it's looking good I love these little wispy bits you see those little wispy bits in there you, know, you, you can't really predict those may just happen or not that's looking really good now Getting now to the area where I'll have to think about cleaning. And I can probably use what I've got on the brush, or sorry, on the colour shaper. Let's just finish this off down here. I want to leave a little bit of light coming in here. Uh, that looks great, that bit. And there, we'll stop. Let's come over here because we can do the same thing over here. 